Yeah, yeah, boxing aficionados. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, check this out. Um, second video about tomorrow's fights. And uh, just want to make sure that people understand I'm not coming from PBC hate because I'm actually looking forward to a big fight they're having tomorrow night, but it has nothing to do with Spence Ugas. The fight I'm looking forward to this weekend, above all else, is Stanionis versus Butayev. I believe the guy's name is Leontis, Alemontis Stanionis against Radzab Butayev. That's the fight. That's the fight that I want to see. That fight, unfortunately, for both fighters, you know, it's the type of fight that's going to take a lot out of each fighter. Could turn out to be the type of fight that takes a lot of, that takes a lot out of both fighters, winner and loser. You know, and um, my only uh, my only uh, regret about this fight is that it's not happening for a belt, for a real belt, because um, this is the type of fight that should take place for uh, for belts, for real championship belts. Um, Radza Butaya, the first time I saw him was against Alexander Besputin. Alexander Besputin actually won that fight, but was later found to be dirty, uh, having benefited from the use of performance enhancing drugs. Consequently, the WBA stripped him of that regular WBA welterweight title. And then, inexplicably, did not award it to Radzab Butayev, who lost a very close decision. In fact, they didn't even order that Radzab Butayev um, challenge, f an, uh, you know, for a vacant regular title uh, belt in their uh, sanctioning body against somebody else, you know? I mean, the point is moot now because they're consolidating all the belts, but at the time, you know, it would have been a nice trinket to have because it could have turned into the super belt. Just ask uh, your Dennis Ugas who got that belt that really should be, that really should have belonged to uh, uh, Raza Butayev. It should have been Raza Butayev against Manny Pacquiao instead of uh, uh, your Denis Ugas. But here we are. Anyway, the guy's a come forward fighter. He reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Khabib, you know, one of those guys that uh, from that, I think the Chechen, Chechnya, or something like that, that are just real killers. These dudes wrestle, you know, wrestle bears and take dips in 40 below waters, man. Like, these guys play no games. And they're, uh, they are dedicated to the sport. It's him, Khabib. Better beef. They're all cut from that same cloth, you know. So that's who you got in Radzat Butayev. I don't think he punches as hard as he, could, as you know, he's not a one, one shot knockout type of person. Or else he would have stopped Besputin. Besputin took his best shots. Now we know that he had was on PEDs, but. He's a person that 
uh, then went on to uh, smash Jamal James, I believe, uh, and expose him as the non-entity that he always was. And uh, now he's going to fight Stanley Onis. Stanley Onis, who I've only really seen, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, I've seen only highlights of an extensive array of highlights. And it looked to me like Luis Colazzo wanted no parts of him. You know, he basically uh, uh, exercised the better part of valor took the way out after a headbutt against Stanionis. But Stanionis is from, I believe, uh, from uh, Freddie, Freddie Roach's camp, Freddie Roach's gym. And he hits hard. I mean, it looks like people just don't like to get hit by him. To say the least, uh, seems to deliver a very uh, prolific left hook, lead left hook that Freddie Roach teaches very well. He teaches lead hooks very well. That's Freddie Roach's. Uh, you could say his money, his money, uh, his money uh, plan or way of teaching taught it to uh, Miguel Cotto the lead hooks for the uh, right handed and left handed fighters because he taught it to Manny Pacquiao who was a one handed fighter uh, southpaw then he taught him the right handed hook Freddie Roach is just good at them hooks but um, uh, Stanley Onis digs to the body comes forward and Raza Butayev comes forward. So it's going to be a battle of attrition. Who takes the first steps back? Yeah, I think I think the fight is going to be told. That story is going to be told right from whoever takes the first step back, honestly. Because I don't see either fighter being very good going backwards I could be wrong uh, but um, neither fighter seems to be built in a fashion that could uh, you know wait on the back foot I don't think they can all of a sudden turn into sweet and into slick technicians in the ring I could be wrong Maybe they have new wrinkles I don't know about. Maybe they haven't fought anybody that's made them have to do that. Except that Butaya fought Besputin. And that fight was a motherfucker, man. Anybody who wants to see Raza Besputin uh, in a really great fight, see Besputin versus uh, Butaya on the zone. Uh, the Dazone... Uh, app. I think they have that fight there. It was one of their premier fights. Uh, Alexander Besputin had more you know, it's a shame what happened with Alexander Besputin because actually he uh, he, he had more uh, uh, more wrinkles to his game. He had more uh, tricks up his sleeve. He's a guy that had lateral movement and whose style uh, was very reminiscent of uh, Vasily Lomachenko. So I used to call him the Lomachenko of welterweight. And I talked about him for, for quite a while because I had actually been following his ascendance to that, to that uh, regular title shot. He's an Igis Klimas fighter. And, you know, it's kind of like from the school of Papa, Papa Lomachenko. But, um, you know, Went the PED route, got stripped. Haven't heard of him from him uh, in a while. Last time I saw him was in a Russian card on ESPN Plus. But that's neither here nor there. Point is that in that fight, I got to see Raza Buteyev. And that fight really could have gone either way. Raza Buteyev came in 
went forward was punishing uh, Alexander Vesputin to the ribs. And uh, to Alexander Vesputin's credit, he took the shots and gave back shots. So uh, Vesputin uh, had power, had power. And, 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 and like I said, very tricky, very Lomachenko-esque, very, a lot of footwork, a lot of angles. And Raza Butayev was taking shots, but also giving just as good as he received. And there were some rounds there that were very, 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 very close. Too close to uh, for me to score either way, really, with any amount of, uh, you know, certainty. You know, like when you know that this round went to this fighter, well, uh, that fight really didn't have those type of rounds in it. I'm telling you, go back and if you want to see a good fight, you should uh, tune into that fight. Standing Onis, I guess the best name on his resume is Colossal, so one can be questionable about that. But, you know, he's over in PBC land. You know how it is over there. You can't get the big fights over there. You can't get a Danny Garcia in the ring. You can't get a Thurman in the ring. I'm sure Stanley Onis would own those guys. He, I think he would have stopped those guys. But, you know, PBC land, they, they're they well protected because those are nice names. And they feel they are better served to to uh, lose on pay-per-view levels. And, and so they can uh, uh, reap the rewards so they can uh, earn their, uh, their $1.5 million minimums. So he was so Stanley Onis wasn't gonna get those fights. So what you got now is Stanley Onis against Butayev. They're gonna have to go through each other <sighs> for no belt. You know. We're as fans are gonna be able to benefit from the fact that their fight is gonna be for free. We're gonna be watching that fight. But um Again, I wish it could, that fight, in my opinion, should have been for a belt. Each of those fighters should have been, should have had their own shot at the belt without going through each other. I think um, they deserved it, or at least, uh, you know, I don't know, some other fight, maybe an Ennis or things on that level. Uh, Butayev really shouldn't be fighting a standing on this because Butayev, again, should have already had a shot at the WBA title. And one of them, I think it was Butayev, took step aside money for your Dennis Ugas to be able to fight uh, Spence. So in that matter, I guess, you know, if you pay the step aside, if you, I mean, if you cash the step aside check, you got nothing to complain about, but still... Anyway, I'm not going to complain too much about that. I'm just going to enjoy the fact that it's free. And uh, that's the understated fight of the weekend that I think is going to turn into probably the best fight of the weekend. It's definitely the most intriguing fight, you know. Uh, Ugas, Ugas, Spence, it's, uh, it could be competitive. I mean, it's going to be maybe nice and all that but you know could be a good fight probably will be a good fight but I don't think that it's a fight that really interests me that much just because of the like my previous video like tune into the other video so you can see what I'm talking about or hear what I'm talking about anyway Butayev Stanionis Elimontis Elimontis, Stanionis, Radza Butayev. Um, tune it in. Great fight. Next level box to talk about.